Oops, we're coming back. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mysterious and creepy events on Mount Everest. Welcome to the Himalayas! Close the tent now, it's freezing! Are you being sarcastic, dude? I don't even know anymore. For this list, we'll be looking at some eerie, unexplained, and generally unsettling events that have occurred on the slopes of Mount Everest. Would you be willing to climb the mountain after all this? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Tale of Maurice Wilson In 1932, military man Maurice Wilson discovered a love for prayer and fasting after he was cured of an illness. Two years later, wanting to prove his convictions to the world, Wilson decided to climb Everest, despite a significant lack of mountaineering experience. He thought that by scaling Everest when prior professionals had failed, he would demonstrate the power of faith to do anything. He actually made it to almost 23,000 feet before his progress was hampered by a 40-foot ice wall. The accompanying Sherpas told him to give up, but Wilson refused to listen. He admitted in his diary, this will be a last effort, and pushed on. He died of exhaustion just a few days later in his tent. Peter, you left the flap open. Like a thousand degrees in here, Lois. Close the tent now, it's freezing. Number nine, Sleeping Beauty. Everest is kind of terrifying, not only because it's so dangerous, but because it's littered with hundreds of frozen corpses. Peter! Oh my god! Dad! It's okay, there's a huge pile of dead bodies down here that cushion my fall. Taking a body down is expensive and dangerous, so most are simply left on the mountain as frozen mummies. One of the most famous bodies is Sleeping Beauty. Oh. I'll never forgive myself. We're all to blame. Real name Frances Arsentiev, this Hawaiian woman was the first female to scale Mount Everest without the use of supplemental oxygen. However, she became exhausted from oxygen deprivation and collapsed on the descent. She twice encountered fellow climbers, and while both teams attempted a rescue, they were ultimately forced to leave her behind to save themselves. Arsentiev froze to death, and her purple jacketed corpse became known as Sleeping Beauty. Number 8. An Astronaut's Last Descent in 1993, astronaut and Northwestern University professor Carl Gordon Hennies scaled Everest to test a device called the Tissue Equivalent Proportional Counter, or TEPC for short. This counter measured the effects of radiation on the human body. Hennies planned to use the counter at three different altitudes, 17,000, 19,000, and 21,000 feet. He scaled the mountain with a research group called High Adventure BVI, but began to suffer significant breathing problems at 22,000 feet. The team attempted to save him with oxygen, but they failed. Hennies died in his sleep from high altitude pulmonary edema and was buried on the mountain. Number 7. The Vanishing Snowboarder In 2001, Marco Sefredi did the impossible. He rode down Everest on a snowboard. His adventure began at the summit, and he rode down to advanced base camp at North Col. He then rode down the Norton Couloir for two hours. Wanting an even bigger accomplishment to his name, Sefredi decided to descend the more challenging Hornbane Couloir the following year. If successful, he would become the first person in the world to do so. The Sherpas urged Sifredi not to go, as he was exhausted from the climb and the weather had changed. He went anyway and was never seen again. The Sherpas reported seeing no snowboard tracks, and Sifredi's body has never been found. Number 6. The Maybe Russian Expedition of 1952 Did the Russians attempt to scale Everest in 1952? It's possible. So you're telling me there's a chance. It's said that a team of Russian climbers, led by one Dr. Pavel Dachnolian, set off in October of 1952 to scale the mountain, but that their expedition was a disaster, resulting in six deaths. This trip has been documented in some supposedly reputable sources, including the Manchester Guardian, the Tribune de Genève, the Alpine Journal, and Walt Unsworth's book, Everest, The Mountaineering History. However, Russia has consistently denied that the expedition took place, and there has been no physical evidence to support the theory. Did some wires get crossed in the reporting? Was this some super secret mission? No one seems to know. I'll tell you something. You don't want to know, and I don't know. Number five, Mallory and Irvine. On the morning of June the 6th, Odell took this picture of Mallory and Irving leaving Camp 4 on the North Cull. It's the last picture ever taken of them. 
The 1924 British Everest expedition is often debated. This expedition saw George Mallory and Sandy Irvine attempting to become the first people to summit Everest. They disappeared while climbing the mountain and weren't seen for another 75 years. It wasn't until 1999 that Mallory's body was finally discovered by a research expedition, completely frozen and mummified. I looked over to my right and all of a sudden I saw a patch of white that wasn't rock and it wasn't snow. And all of a sudden, I thought, hmm, I'm gonna go look over here. And as I started traversing closer to this, I saw what well, appeared to be the lower part of a leg. It was found with a significant rope jerk injury around the waist, a broken leg, and a wound in his forehead. Irvine has never been found, and whether or not they were successful in their ascent remains unknown. He was determined, and he was tough, and he was strong, and I think, I think he made it. I think. I think he and Irvine both made it. Number four, mountain ghosts. I see dead people. As previously mentioned, Everest plays host to many frozen bodies, but is it also the home of their ghosts? If Sherpa Pemba Dorhi is to be believed, then yes. Dorhi claims to have ascended Everest in just eight hours, a record that was confirmed by the Tourism Ministry of Nepal, but rejected by the Guinness Book of World Records. While climbing the mountain, Dorhi claims to have seen numerous ghostly shadowy figures approaching him, with their arms outstretched, a gesture said to be indicative of their starvation in life. In fact, many Sherpas are said to believe in the mountain's ghosts. However, it's also possible that the ghosts are mere hallucinations caused by the high altitude. It's not a matter that concerns you, Mr. Torrance. At least not at this point. Anything you say, Lloyd. Anything you say. Number three, mysterious deaths. In 2017, the world was hit with conflicting reports regarding some supposed deaths on Everest. Sherpas had found the bodies of four climbers in a tent on the mountain. They reported this news to the Associated Press and Reuters, and the report was published in numerous mainstream outlets. However, none of the expeditions climbing Everest at the time had reported anyone missing. Nepal's tourism department also cast out on the report, saying that dozens of climbers would have also seen the tent and bodies, yet no one had reported seeing anything. Was this another other instance of Everest ghosts? Were the Sherpas mistaken? Once again, no one seems to know. Are you being sarcastic, dude? I don't even know anymore. Number two, the wild man of the snows. Welcome to the Himalayas! Does the Yeti reside on Mount Everest? While well, there have been numerous personal and eyewitness accounts, in Charles Howard Burry's book, Mount Everest, The Reconnaissance, 1921, he reports seeing large footsteps in the snow. His Sherpa guides said they belonged to the wild man of the snows. There's no doubt about it. There was something else here too. Perhaps the most thrilling supporting evidence are photographs from mountaineer Eric Shipton. They show large footprints in the snow and sparked widespread national interest in the Yeti. Even to this day, the photos remain fiercely debated, with some declaring them the best existing evidence of the Yeti. Nowadays, they'd be cries of hoax. But back in the 1950s, respectable adventurers were taken at their word. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You'll have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Frank Smythe Sees Something Frank Smythe was an experienced English mountaineer. In 1931, he set a summit record by successfully scaling India's Kemet. He later embarked on three Everest expeditions throughout the 30s. The first rattled Smith to his core. In his book, Camp Six, the 1933 Everest Expedition, Smythe reports feeling a presence beside him as he scaled the mountain. Believing this presence to be real, he took a mint cake from his belongings and attempted to share it. He also reported seeing two curious objects floating in the sky that resembled kite balloons. They supposedly hovered and seemed to pulsate. These could be hallucinations stemming from oxygen deprivation, or they could be ghosts, or aliens. Extraterrestrial life. You're right, Jerry. The people are gonna love it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.